Hey y'all, uh, what is going on? Um, I'm just here bringing you some videos before I get my day started. I hope everybody is having a good weekend. Um, I've had a um, I've had a uh, tiring week weekend. It was a long work week, and um, I was just getting my rest um, on Saturday. I'm gonna be in my rest again today. So, um, I just want to say a shout out to my two number one fans. Um, there is a guy that I follow on YouTube, and it is. His YouTube channel is Diary of Cass. C A S. Um, I'm subscribed to his YouTube channel. Um, go and subscribe to his as well. And um, if you um, if you enjoy what you hear, um, also. If you enjoy what you hear, um, if you like hearing about mental health, um, subscribe to um, my channel as well. And um, a shout out to my other number one fan, Cheryl Gumby. Um, just want to say thank you, Cheryl, to thank you, Cheryl, for. Um, Liking everything about me, mental health. Um, liking everything I post about mental health. Um, so thank you. And thank you to all my subscribers um, who care about mental health. Thank you. Um, today's topic is going to be um, self harm. Um, Um, just some facts about self-harm that, um, that I just want to share with you today. Um, practicing self-harm is a little bit of a sign of being suicidal. You know, there's a little bit of a connection there because... What if you cut yourself and you accidentally cut a vein? Um, um, I was a self-harmer myself. I was a self-harmer myself. And I would keep really sharp knives under my bed just in case I... Um, just in case I wanted to harm myself, I kept a sharp knife under my bed for a very long time, a very long time. Um, now when I think about, um, wanting to cut myself, um, I really, really cringe when I see sharp knives or I think about um, wanting to cut myself because that sharp knife doesn't feel, no, it really doesn't feel good. No, it really doesn't feel good. Um... I just cringe so much um, thinking about it and talking about it with you a little bit makes me kind of cringe just a little bit but um, again um, this needs to be talked about this needs to be talked about um, 
when did I self harm? Um, I self harmed in my early twenties. Um, right around that time. Um, why did I self harm? I felt worthless. Felt like a failure. Felt like an embarrassment to my family. Um, my friends, my co-workers, and um, that's why I said, that's why I self harm. Um, the different types of self harm: cutting, which I did, scratching, burning, um, carving words or symbols into the skin. Um, hitting or punching oneself. Now, I also um, hit myself as well. I also did hit myself as well. Um, I actually um, punched myself in my cheekbone before. And I've actually poured hot water on myself. And I have actually tried to burn myself as well yep um some of the warning signs of self-harm you need to look for um scars um fresh cuts burns or scratches bruises rubbing an area excessively to create a burn um Having sharp objects on hand. Again, I kept a knife under my eye bed. Um, wearing long sleeves or long pants even in hot weather. Um, yeah. Um, difficulties with interpers interpersonal relationships. Um, persistent questions about personal identity um, and um, just some ways that you can deal with uh, self-harm you can text a friend to um, cool to cool down um, or you can just text the crisis text line 741 741 again the crisis text line 741 741 um find your zen aka meditation which i do which i do or you can just um talk to a um talk to a pro um the crisis, the crisis, um, the crisis text line. Um, I just mentioned, uh, wow, a minute ago, um, why I self harm and, um, have some more reasons why people self harm, um, to process their, their negative feelings, distract themselves from their negative feelings, feel something physical particular if they are feeling numb, develop a sense of control over their lives, punish, them th punish themselves for the things they think they have done wrong, express emotions they are otherwise embarrassed to show. Um, all of these things that I just read, um, um, those are, um, some of the more reasons why I self-harm, um, and some of the effects of self-harm are permanent scars, which I have. I have permanent scars. I can still see my scars right now. 
can still see my scars right now. I got several on my um I got several on my um on my uh, left arm. I got several on my left arm. So um yeah. I can still see those scars and they're gonna be there. Un un uncontrolled bleeding, um, infection, um emo um getting really emotional about um self harm, guilt or shame, a diminished sense of self, including feeling helpless or worthless. And you can actually become addicted to the behavior, which I was for a little bit of a short time. Which I was for a little bit of a short a time. And um, some of the social effects, avoiding friends and loved ones, becoming ostracized from loved ones who may not understand, interpersonal difficulty, from lying to others about injuries. And um, so, yeah, um, I didn't have to tell anybody about about my self-harm because I had no friends. So I couldn't tell nobody. Um, how do you how do you recover? Um, name your reason for hurting yourself and your reasons for quitting like this what do i feel before during and after self-injury um what emotions do i seek out and what emotions are really harmful um you can identify other ways of achieving the same result as if you are feeling negative emotions or you are you are feeling negative emotions you can you know lift weights um, meditation or you can just you know journal write down you know write down how write down your thoughts to express how you're feeling um you can tackle the underlying underlying emotions. Um, what are the feelings that led you to hurt yourself? And um, is it guilt? For example, where is the guilt coming from? And um, tell someone you trust. Tell someone that you really, really trust. And um, trusted friend or whatnot, or again, just call the crisis text line at 741-741. Um, I hope you enjoyed this video as on self-harm. Um, it makes me happy to know that I am making a difference, a positive difference in your lives for people who watch um, my content. And I just want to say from my heart to yours, Thank you. God bless you. And may you be blessed. Thank you.